I want to share with you three anthologies from Wiser Books. Noted for their groundbreaking releases in the fields of magic, witchcraft, and metaphysics, Wiser has also given us three of the finest anthologies in horror and occult fiction. Let's start by looking at the Wiser book of horror and the occult. It's a brilliant collection, edited by Lon Milo Duquette. It features 15 masterpieces. As they say, are you looking for a thoughtful fright? Or perhaps a frightful thought? Packed with stories selected by one of today's leading esoteric scholars, this book will do more than make your toes curl and your skin crawl. These tales reveal hidden truths, inspire forbidden pursuits, and divulge the secrets of magical initiation in the guise of fiction. Covering topics from rituals to hauntings to Satanism, this one-of-a-kind volume includes selections from Aleister Crowley, Ambrose Bierce, Arthur Mankin, Edgar Allan Poe, Robert W. Chambers, Ralph Adams Cram, H.P. Lovecraft. Dion Fortune, Sir Edward George Bullwinton Lighton, Bram Stoker. As Duquette writes in his introduction, horror takes its time. It creeps in, seeps in, and lingers. These stories will take you hours to read, but they will stay with you, biting at your heels from the shadows eternally. Don't say we didn't warn you. Next, let's look at the table of contents for the wiser book of the fantastic and forgotten tales of the supernatural, strange and bizarre. It's a veritable who's who of supernatural fiction, again with Bram Stoker, H.D. Eliot, M.R. James, Oscar Wilde, Richard Le Guillain, Robert W. Chambers, H.P. Lovecraft, Charles Dickens, W.B. Yeats, Arthur Mencken. Dion Fortune, Algernon Blackwood, Marie Corelli, Lord Dunsany, Edgar Allan Poe, Hans Hind Ewers, W. W. Jacobs. For many horror fiction aficionados, there are some well-tread stories here, but there are some delightful gems that don't normally make it into collections like these as well. Judica Illis is to be commended for putting together a book that isn't just another greatest hits collection. She did her homework and has delivered a diverse compilation of stories read best by the light of a warm fire, a full moon peeking in from a parlor window with a scratch of a tree limb on the pane gives you pause. Finally, I proudly parade my near lifelong obsession for the occult detective genre in all its forms and guises where I'm allowed, in some places I'm not. That obsession led me to not only pursue a writing career entrenched in the conceits of the genre, but to explore the preternatural outside the realm of fiction as a paranormal investigator. Two of my favorite preoccupations collide in the Wiser Book of Occult Detectives, 13 Stories of Supernatural Sleuthing, edited and introduced by none other than the, one of the premier occult authors and scholars of the modern age, Judica Illis. Judica Illis has compiled an amazing collection of occult detective stories, mining some of the best paranormal mysteries in the early 20th century had to offer, written by such legendary authors as Algernon Blackwood, William Hope Hodgson, Sax Romer, Dion Fortune, Helena Petrova Polatsky, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. As one devoted to the genre, both as a fan and an author, I understand the awesome task Gillis has undertaken. To pour over the sheer volume of early occult detective tales and select the very best in defining tales for a collection such as this would be a maddening endeavor for any scholar. Judica Illis has done an admirable job of putting together a brilliant and impressive table of contents here. As well read in the genre as I am, Judica Illis has managed to unearth no less than four spectacular tales that had escaped my attention. The Dead Hand by L.T. Mead and Robert Eustace, The Vampire by Alice and Claude Askew, The Witness in the Wood by Rose Champion Dick Crickney, and Eyes of Doom by Ella M. Scrimsour. 
Whether you are new to the genre or a lifelong fan, The Wiser Book of Occult Detectives, 13 Stories of Supernatural Sleuthing, is a collection you absolutely cannot do without. Why, I'm already pining for the coming of October, when I can once more crack the spine of this assemblage of paranormal thrillers and read them when the moon is high and unseen spirits roam unfettered.